Today, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is learn how to create a conditional form with Tally. So I'm just going to pull up Tally to show you. Tally is like Google Forms, but free and more flexible. If I actually sign out, I can show you. It's a very, very easy way to create forms without coding. And you can create very different forms, flexible forms. You can connect it with Airtable, Zapier, and different integrations. You can have payment inside the forms. And if you want to sell a product or if you want to pre-sell a product, you can use Tally to do that really effectively. So let's get into Tally. I think I might have to log in again. Oh, no. So we're going to create a form like this. And I ba created a basic fo food form. And basically, the user selects what they prefer. They answer the first question. And it shows a conditional answer. So if they say Italian, it shows Italian meals. If they click Mexican, it shows Mexican meals. And they can just click that, click Submit, and done. So we're going to do this. Looking at some of the, the logic is very basic. I have three questions. I have my first question, conditional blocks, and I have my final questions that show. So we're going to create that now. If I actually go to my dashboard, I believe I might have to log in again. So when you log in, you get this, this form or this dashboard here, you click create form, you give your form a title. I am going to select, uh, I'm going to call the form sports form. And you click here to start with empty form. You can insert a block. It gives you input blocks or it gives you questions. So I, I like to select these questions and I like to select multiple choice. So I'm going to ask, what is your favorite? I'm going to give two options, football, basketball. Next thing I'm going to do is add two more blocks. So when they answer football, I'm going to ask them, what is your favorite football team? When they answer basketball, I'm going to ask, what is your favorite basketball team? So I'm going to do a similar thing. Multiple choice. What is your favorite football team? West. Um, and then I'm going to do this again. What is your favorite basketball team? Houston Rockets. So we want to do some things right now before we add the conditional workflow. So we want to click here and we want to click hide block and we want to hide these blocks. So the, with these blocks are going to show once a user clicks one of these two options. What we want to do next is insert a new block, scroll all the way down, and add conditional logic. So we're going to say 
this one right here. When what is your favorite sport is football. We want to show. What is your favorite football team? Then we're going to add. We're going to show another block. We're going to say West Ham. Chelsea. Oops. I can actually, if I remove that. Chelsea. I actually go back one more time. We can, this is multiple choice, so I can do here. Yeah. Show these blocks. So now what I like to do, I just like to order this just for some organization. And I like to seems it's not letting me. No problem. We're just going to move on. We're going to add some more conditional logic. And again, I do this for organization. You could simply add another action here. We're going to set the next one is when what is your favorite sport is basketball. We're going to then show the blocks. What is your favorite basketball team? Houston Rockets, LA Lakers, or this. So that should be right. There, I'm just going to move these just on top. Put what is your... So now we have, what is your favorite sport? We have conditional workflows, which show these hidden blocks based on the first user's input. So what we're going to do is preview. So what is your favorite sport? Football. And we see what is your favorite football team, basketball. We see what is your favorite basketball team. Click Houston Rockets and click submit. So that is how we make our conditional form using Tally. To publish, all we have to do is click publish. And now this is published at this share link. So if I go to this link. You can see the same thing. What is your favorite football? Sport, football, what's your favorite football team? It shows West Ham. And we're done. So that is how you create a conditional form using Tally. If this provided you any value whatsoever, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting no-code content. If you have any questions, any at all, don't, you can... DM me on so on social media, or you can write, don't be afraid to write in the comments. Happy hacking.